If I were you, I'd have that checked for authenticity. My brother's never been very good at spotting fakes. Well, he has people to do that for him. Like you, for instance. Maybe you should check it out. You know, to satisfy yourself. You know, this really looks familiar. I think this was the one he gave Reva. Oh, no, 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 no. That one fell in the lake. Well, it'll come to me. Hmm. It's mine. Bought for me. And I intend to keep it. <laughs> the question is, do you intend to keep Alan with it? Well, you're concerned for your brother after all this time. It's really... touching. Mm. Well... Don't let the distance fool you. I've never been far away because I take this family very seriously. Oh, so you're always hovering. Yes, always, just like a guardian angel. And after that prank that you and Philip pulled that put Alan in hospital, I would say that my concern was justified. We never meant to hurt Alan. It was all a terrible misunderstanding. Oh, yes, like that misunderstanding with Lorelei's diary. A little bird told me that you could have been responsible for publishing that trash. Well, I have a motto. Never listen to talking birds. Yes, well, I think whoever was responsible should have had the feelings of a 16-year-old girl. You know what, Lizzie? is a good kid, and she's a, she's a tough kid. She'll be fine. Yes, I'm sure she will, after she finishes her community service for shoplifting. It's a good thing I've come back to look things over. Actually, things are just... What are you talking about? Didn't Philip tell you? Tell me what? <sighs> well, I thought that he... Or Alan would have told you, but then I guess that Alan would have been so upset about the news that... Anyway, never mind. I'm, I'm going to go. Alexandra! Don't you think you should tell me the news? If it's going to be upsetting to Alan, I would like to be able to help him. I think that you've already helped enough, you know. Philip and Beth have split up. She has moved out of the match. And now, Philip is free. He is free as a bird. Philip and Beth argue all the time. I can't imagine... Are you sure that she moved out? Well, of course I'm sure. Both Philip and Alan told me. I'm surprised they didn't tell you, but... then I suppose they had their reasons. <laughs> Those boys. What a pair they are. You know, you are really gonna have to have your hands full with them. Wife to Alan, stepmother to Philip. Don't you think it'll be a little odd? Not the least. No, well, you're a very brave girl. I'd find it positively daunting. Well, I'm not that easily thrown. Yes, well, you're obviously experienced at juggling. I mean, look how you manage everything. You run this hotel, you tend to Alan at the hospital, you look after your other interests, and on top of everything, you're having a wedding. I'd love to help you with that. <laughs> Excuse me? Well, after all, I am going to be your sister-in-law, so let me pitch in. We could have it at the mansion. And no, that wouldn't be good because of Philip and Beth getting married there. But we could have it here. Oh, no. Didn't your ex-husband and Reva? My goodness, you certainly caught up on what you missed. No, oh, I can never sleep on airplanes. I had a lot of research to do. What a fascinating career you have had. As have you. Here's an idea. Let's skip the part where you pretend that this is all about your concern for Al and your bonding with me, because quite frankly, it's a lousy act. <laughs> Bravo. I thought it was about time you finally grew a spine. Ooh, ooh. No, don't tell me there was no way we were going to get through this politely. I mean, live and let live. After you almost sent my brother to his grave? Not a chance. Mm, okay. Well, Alan loves me. And we're going to get married. And since you and I are going to be a part of the same family, let's say we lay down some ground rules. Dilla. Swooping back into town the minute you hear your brother is sick, spouting all this concern for his well-being. I'm not buying it. And neither is Alan. He knows you're up to something, Alexander, and so do I. And neither one of us is stupid enough to turn our backs on you for a minute. Hmm. So that leaves everyone with their backs to the wall. <laughs> it's wonderful how you've managed to bring out the best in everyone around you. You know, having a spine is admirable, Olivia, but it doesn't compare with having the upper hand. 
You've put yourself in a box of your own making. And I, for one, will be guarding the exit. Goodbye. It's Olivia. I need to speak with Beth. She moved out? Are you sure? When? No, thank you. Hello? It's Olivia. I need to see you now. I can't. It's urgent. Meet me at the beach. Who was that? No, it's nothing important. I gotta go though. Um, I'll tell you what. I'll I'll check in on you later. Okay? Feel better. I I didn't think you'd come. I wasn't sure if I was coming either. So what was so urgent? <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? Tell you what? About you and Beth. What, my father thing? No, no, I got to hear from your Aunt Alexandra, who batted me around like a cat with a ball of yarn. Alan never... Said a word? No. Wonder why. Maybe the same reason you didn't. Come here. See this ring? I'm engaged to your father, right. okay? I know that. Yeah. So what difference does it make who told you about Bethany? It doesn't have anything to do with you. Really? What happened between you and I had nothing to do with you and Beth splitting up? No, didn't. Boy, how long you be able to keep lying to my face? Olivia, do you ever think about my father when he's not standing right in front of you? Or can you only lie to his face? I think about Alan all the time. And I care about him. That's not a lie. Gosh, for something. But that's not all there is. There is a you and me. <laughs> and until we can both be honest about that, there is going to be hell to pay.